Many thanks to Jerb, Jaren, DC Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, That One Random and Great Poncho for making this video possible. The innocent looking tripwire trap can be combined with many different items in the game to craft some of the deadliest traps that we've ever seen in DayZ. So in this video I'm going to show you 10 extremely fatal variations of the tripwire trap, how to best avoid getting killed by them, and the most likely places that you'll find them. Before we start, if you didn't know, the tripwire trap was re-added in DayZ 1.14 and can be crafted with two wooden sticks and metal wire. It allows the attachment of all of these grenades, including the road flare for some reason, but because we're focusing on the deadliest version of the tripwire traps, we're going to be looking at grenades. This means for all 10 of the brutally violent traps on this list, you will need two wooden sticks, one metal wire and at least one grenade. With that covered, let's start with the first trap, the cheese trap. I'm calling it the cheese trap because it abuses an unrealistic mechanic with grenades and how you can shorten their fuse. To shorten a grenade's fuse, you unpin it and then you place it on the floor and then you pick it up and you repin it, reducing the time before it explodes to less than the 4 second fuse time intended when placed in a trap. Now this is a cheesy way to create a deadly trap and in my opinion is akin to using third person over a wall because it's more of a bug than it is a feature but you'll see in this video that there's much deadlier traps without using cheesy tricks. The lockdown trap isn't related to the Rona lockdown but the victim will wish it is when they realise all of the doors in the building they just entered and triggered a trap in are locked. The only way to lock doors in Daisy is with the lock pick, so you obviously need one of these to create this trap. You also need a building that has doors where the enemy could potentially escape through, but not stairs or corners where they can hide from the blast. This trap is deadly because it's instinctive to run away from the grenade that just dropped at your feet behind you in the fastest time possible, so players run deeper into the kill box that you created instead of out the door that they came in. So remember, if you trip a tripwire as you enter a door or a building, run out the door you just came in to avoid this type of trap. Most of the tripwire traps in DayZ will be found in doorways, but the vehicle traps certainly will not be, which means it's going to be much easier to spot this type of trap, but it's still one of the deadliest traps on this list. If you place a landmine under a vehicle in Daisy, it will explode when somebody gets into the driver's seat, causing all players in a roughly 3 metre radius to go unconscious for around 50 seconds. Another feature of the landmine is its ability to damage items around it, which means if we place a badly damaged tripwire trap next to it, it will trigger the tripwire trap with a grenade inside because the landmine damages, destroys and as a result triggers the tripwire trap, dropping the nade on the floor and because you're unconscious, GG. This trap works so well because it can be a rare occurrence to come across a car and obviously everybody wants a car even though they are dangerous to use and your victim will likely be focusing on how they can get this car working instead of looking for a trap that will kill them if they even touch the driver's seat so check for traps first. The landmine trip trap obviously requires a landmine to work and takes advantage of the tripping animation that pushes your character forward as you trigger a trip by a trap. So even with full protection, the landmine will knock you out for 50 seconds when stepped on, so as you trip forward onto the landmine, you would trigger it, knocking you out for 50 seconds, and then the grenade will explode after 4 seconds. On the downside, this trap is very obvious, so don't push your way through closed doors without checking for a trap first. The fifth trap on our list is very similar to the previous trap but requires a bear trap instead. So the way this works is first your character goes into the tripping animation and you're pushed onto the bear trap and because you stepped on a bear trap just now, your leg is broken and you've been forced into the prone animation because of this. Basically, you get animation locked until you die, making it just as deadly as a landmine trip trap, except you get to see how you're going to die instead. Now obviously the bear trap is very easy to see too, but unlike the tripwire, you can't walk through a bear trap so easily. Even ruining a bear trap will still cause it to trigger if you step on it, and triggering it with a two-handed weapon can be tricky if you don't want to accidentally trigger the very explosive grenade next to you instead. As a tip here, the bear trap somehow can be used to trigger the tripwire trap at the moment, so don't accidentally blow yourself up when you set this trap up. Additionally, if you place the bear trap too close, the grenade will drop underneath the bear trap that was just triggered, and the bear trap will shield your victim from certain death. The G trap is my favourite trap by far, which I initially called the GG trap, but because it kills you so fast, you only get time to say one of the Gs. This trap is the most dangerous trap to set up as it requires you to have a badly damaged grenade which can be done by shooting the grenade to degrade it to the quality level of badly damaged which is what you'll need to do for this trap to work. A safer but more time consuming way to get a grenade to badly damaged is to literally cook it, you just don't want to overcook a grenade. With your gourmet badly damaged grenade ready to serve, place it in the trap and set up a landmine like we did with the landmine trip trap. 
So when a player triggers a trip by a trap, the badly damaged grenade will drop to the floor like normal, but because it's badly damaged, it will instantly explode when the landmine gets triggered by the person tripping forward onto the landmine. Detonating it at the same time, the landmine explodes, a very, very deadly trap. In this case, I've placed a bag on the landmine to cover it up, which you can also do, but it is very risky to do. But if someone triggers this trap, it's an instant GG. The trip tripwire trap takes advantage of the tripping animation again, but will only work in certain buildings. For example, in this military barracks building, you can set up a tripwire at the front door with a grenade inside it, and then at this second door here, you can set up another tripwire that would do nothing but slow your victim's escape by tripping them over and getting them caught in the blast radius. Now if you didn't know, the kill radius of a grenade is around 10 meters without any protection, which yes, means armor can shield you from these 10 traps. This one's a strange one, and for some reason, this next trap will work best with the Russian variant of grenades. Like normal, you set up a tripwire trap with any grenade in it, it makes no difference. Then you place a badly damaged Russian grenade within nine meters of the tripwire trap to cause both to explode at the same time. The purpose of this trap is to kill players that believe hiding from tripwires will save them, creating a chain reaction that can literally bend the explosion of the tripwire trap around corners, much like the game Bomberman, which if you played, makes you a Boomerman. So the more damage the second grenade is, the further you can have it from the tripwire at a maximum of 9 meters, and you can have this chain reaction blow up an entire building if you fill it with grenades. The block trap works much the same as the lockdown trap, however instead of locking doors, you block doors. So with this trap, you will need to make the victim believe that there is an escape or an exit, only for it to be blocked by an object in the way. The barrel works really well in this case because it makes it look like there is plenty of room on either side to go around the barrel and escape, taking away the precious few seconds their character has left. I've tried this with a few items in many different buildings and it works great. The final trap on this list isn't really a unique trap, it simply uses bait to lure enemies into the traps in this video. For example, you can place a good piece of loot that's visible through a window or a door to have the victim get tunnel vision to focus their attention on the item instead of the trap that's right next to the door. Or you can place a light source in a building you just placed a trap in. Or you can lure people with grenades inside gas stoves that will explode 90 seconds later so you'll be long gone. Or you can just use the traditional method to lure players to your location. <sighs> Now after experimenting with these traps for the last few weeks in many different locations, the best places to put tripwire traps are definitely in doorways, and the best doorways are going to be ones that are not wider than these two sticks. In addition, light coloured floors will be chosen more often as they camouflage this wire better, in some cases making it almost invisible, with the smartest of players positioning tripwires against doors that open inwards towards a trap, because every player is guilty of face palming a door as they open it and run through it. The deadliest of all locations will be the high traffic locations with one exit or entrance because if someone uses the wrong entrance they can just steal your trap and then use it against you in the future. From what I know of the buildings in DayZ this makes for a lot of places where a tripwire combo will work great but a trap could literally be set in a shed too so we won't know for sure where traps will be which means as DayZ players we need to adjust how we're going to play with this new invisible trap meta. The trip by a trap will kill you unless you're aware of the best locations that the trap can be used and are always prepared for the chance that there's a trap inside the building that you're in or that you're going to loot. If you weren't paranoid enough in Daisy, now is the time to be more so with how deadly and invisible these customizable traps are. If you'd like to add to this list, you can do so in the comments. Please do share it below as all of us are going to need to prepare as much as possible for how doors can basically kill us again. If you want to learn more about the newly re-added trap, you can watch this video because I did a guide which details all four of the traps that we got in 1.14, which will certainly help you in combating these tripwire traps. Thank you very much for watching and remember to always look down.